Universe Trillion Theory. Welcome to Trillion Theory. Astronomers and physicists have long been devoted to Big Bang, which tells little about the true origin of the cosmos. But what if Big Bang is wrong? What if there is a different new theory which goes the extra mile by offering a better explanation of our universe? What if this new theory can accelerate our knowledge of the cosmos and speed discovery of the universe's biggest secrets? Can we discover how total spin was imparted to galaxies and to solar systems and how axial spin was imparted to suns, planets and moons? Trillion theory wants to uncover how the cosmos recycles solar systems inside ancient galaxies and how gravity became the fundamental cosmic force and the real reasons why black holes exist. Can we speed discovery of the biggest secrets of the cosmos? The secrets within quadrillions of black holes? Yes, says Trillion Theory. But where are these secrets to be found? Follow Trillion Theory to learn more about how our ancient cosmos operates. If Trillion Theory is correct, the origin of our universe may be bolder than we had ever imagined. Trillion theory takes a simple path to connect the dots within our ultra-complex cosmos. Trillion theory is a new universe theory founded by Canadian theorist, pen name Ed Luke. For decades, Big Bang has failed me. So back in 2010, I began to formulate Trillion Theory, with black holes shown as the prime builders of the spheres, solar systems, and galaxies of our cosmos. Trillion Theory is a new universe theory. One of its main proposals is that our cosmos is an ancient trillion years old. Trillion Theory proposes that over the past trillion years, black holes have built our ancient cosmos. Trillion Theory says that there is super science at work in our cosmos. Much more is afoot here than meets the eye. Trillion Theory presents critical new ideas that uncover the vital role played by black holes in building our universe. Over the coming years, Trillion Theory predicts that its ideas will be proven true. Trillion Theory says no to Big Bang. Trillion theory radically changes the cosmic origin and how our cosmos operates. Soon trillion theory will be proven true. Trillion theory shows how it is better than Big Bang theory. My trillion theory rejects all of the proposed Big Bang proofs. Big Bang is as ridiculous as Ptolemy's geocentric view with the Earth as the cosmic center, a falsehood which endured for over a thousand years. Big Bang explains nothing having survived far too long. It's time for a new cosmic paradigm model. Trillion theory shows the cosmos from a new creative approach. Trillion theory shows the shape of our universe's space cavern as elliptical egg-shaped, a similar shape to solar systems and galaxies. Such an oval shape could not have resulted from a Big Bang explosion. It is time to say no to Big Bang. Also say no to nebular theory. Nebular action did not form our solar system. Yes, mastering secrets of the physical cosmos might be a crucial step in answering our purpose in this universe. Trillion theory uncovers cosmic secrets, so see how our ancient cosmos operate. Trillion theory says that our cosmos is a trillion years old. How can that be? How about the Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago? 
Astronomers calculate the universe's age from the oldest stars at 13.7 billion years. But that is like saying that a 100-year-old tree makes a forest only 100 years old. But you ask, why do they say our universe is 13.7 billion years old? Trillion Theory replies, 13.7 billion is just the age of the current generation of stars inside of far more ancient galaxies. A trillion years ago, the cosmos began small. It grew through generations of starred solar systems to today's 74 quadrillion stars inside billions of galaxies. Each generation star in its solar system lasted a max of 15 billion years before recycling. Astronomers have found Methuselah, a 15 billion year star that doesn't fit into their 13.7 billion year universe. Could astronomers be misreading what they see? Trillion theory estimates our ancient cosmos at a trillion years. It is unwise to accept stars as the oldest cosmic entities. Current stars and solar systems are just the latest generation to reside in far older galaxy hotels. Trillion theory shows that cosmos grew from small to gigantic over a trillion year span. But how does trillion theory get a trillion year projection? Here's the math. One star doubling to the power of 67 gives 74 quadrillion stars in today's cosmos. 67 generations of stars times 15 billion year lifespan for a star equals 1 trillion years. Cosmos is so old that a supermassive black hole at the hub of a galaxy may be 950 billion years old. Here is one possible proof of trillion theory. If we can uncover the true age of a supermassive black hole at hundreds of billions of years old. Trillion theory is about how black holes built and grew a gigantic cosmos from a small origin. A trillion years ago, dating back to the cosmic origin, black holes began their vital work. Einstein was the first to predict that black holes exist in the cosmos. Stephen Hawking later made ideas popular about black holes. In 2019, NASA took the first ever real photo of a black hole, proving that they exist. A black hole is a roundish dark entity which uses super spin to create gravity around itself. Its goal is to attract and devour tons of light. Trillion theory discloses how and why. What black holes aren't in trillion theory? Black holes aren't portals to other universes, and they aren't wormholes in space. And a black hole is not formed by the supernova of a sun exploding. Trillion theory shows that the resulting black hole was always inside of the star, right from the star's birth. What we don't know about baffling, mysterious black holes totally outweighs what we do. Trillion theory proposes the cosmos has quadrillions of black holes and they are all tireless workers. We look at the exterior of a black hole. A black hole sits in space. Its gravity attracts light. This light bends and then trillion theory states that the light is spun into matter as it enters the black hole. Trillion theory says a naked black hole feeds till full as it becomes cloaked inside of the sphere it builds. Quadrillions of black holes work the cosmos. A supermassive controls an entire galaxy, while smaller black holes supply rotation and gravity to suns, planets, and moons. Trillion theory states Black holes are cosmic builders of spheres, solar systems, and galaxies. The reason a black hole devours light is to build a new cosmic sphere around itself. So we are beginning to see why black holes eat light. And what is the difference between a naked black hole and a cloaked black hole? 
Trillium theory is the first to discover these. A small naked black hole eats light to build a sphere around itself. It then operates from its cloak position inside of the sphere. A much higher evolved supermassive black hole does not eat light to build a sphere around itself. It stays naked so it can control an entire galaxy of solar systems. First we deal with small black holes. Black holes eat light for a reason. As cosmic builders, they spin light into matter to erect a sphere around themselves. Thus, there is a small black hole inside of each cosmic sphere. And someday, a black hole will be discovered inside of a sphere, thus proving trillion theory. Trillion theory says a small naked black hole eats light spinning it into matter to build a sphere around itself to form a sun, planet, or moon. Black holes built all orbs, solar systems, and galaxies. They provide the spin and the gravity throughout the cosmos. Trillian theory states that there is a black hole inside of every cosmic sphere. Cloaked inside of the sphere it built, the black hole provides axial spin and gravity to its orb. Some black holes are visible, such as a supermassive black hole is visible at the hub of a galaxy. And a naked black hole is visible eating light to build a sphere. But most black holes are hidden. After a black hole eats its fill of light to build up a body, it is cloaked inside of its sphere. Most black holes are hidden away, cloaked inside of their cosmic sphere. If so, quadrillions of black holes exist in our vast cosmos. Here's a new key to black holes. Astronomers proclaim nothing can escape a black hole. Stephen Hawking recanted saying, radiation escapes. Trillian theory states, light trapped by a black hole always escapes. It just takes billions of years. Follow the process. A naked black hole eats till full, cloaked inside the sphere it built. But after billions of years, that cloaked black hole weakens, losing its matter which escapes back to light. Volcanoes example this process, and suns, and a supernova whose black hole uncloaks back to naked to build a new sphere. Trillion theory submits a light eaten by a black hole always escapes, usually taking billions of years. Our sun examples a black hole that is now losing its matter back to light. The black hole does this so that it can get naked, become a light eater again, and build a new next generation sphere around itself. Trillian theory says this about what black holes can do. Light captured is spun into matter. Light is trapped for billions of years. Light escapes after billions of years. What is the internal structure of a naked black hole? And what changes after it devours light? Inside the naked black hole, an elastic spiral helix pumps up and down to create body spin and gravity. The compartments of the body prepare to fill with matter. Compartments of the black hole fill with light spun to matter. The black hole's spin slows from the weight. Soon the black hole will be fully cloaked inside of the sphere it built, a sphere destined to be a planet or moon. And if it is the largest of a solar system, it will be destined after just a few billion years to turn into a fiery sun. Trillian theory is the first to ever say that a black hole resides inside our Earth. This small black hole spun light into matter until it was full. Today it still tries in vain to eat more light, but Earth's surface matter blocks the light. The black hole, cloaked inside Earth, supplies Earth with rotation on its axis as well as its gravity. The cloaked black hole inside Earth uses its gravity to hold things on Earth's surface and extends this gravity outward to hold our moon and its tiny black hole in Earth's orbit. For several billions of years, 
Earth's cloaked black hole kept strong control over its matter spun from light. But a cloaked black hole's control will eventually loosen, so it can become naked again. This allows this matter to recycle back to light. When the cloaked black hole inside Earth first weakened, its hottest matter escaped towards the surface via fissures. The first volcano to release hot magna was so powerful that rocks were flung out into space, cratering on other spheres in our solar system. This internal pressure from Earth's cloaked black hole has been responsible for all volcanoes, mountain ranges pushed upwards, continental drift, and long-term climate changes. Far in the future, lava from the black hole inside of Earth will fire up Earth's surface. No fear, our sun's supernova will destroy Earth before that. The black hole inside of Earth will survive, get naked, and be a light heater again. Trillion theory is first to show a black hole inside our sun. This black hole centers our solar system because it was larger than any of the other black holes inside the eight planets and 165 moons of our solar system. Sizes of black holes. The black hole inside of our moon, a tiny size. Earth, small size. Jupiter, medium size. Our sun, large to extra large size. And a large sun, XXL size and a supermassive black hole, gigantic plus 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 size. Black hole size rules. A larger black hole can consume more light to build a bigger sphere. A larger black hole has more gravity pull. Earth's small black hole holds one sphere in orbit, while our sun's XL black hole holds over 170 in orbit. A supermassive black hole at a galaxy hub holds millions of suns and their solar systems in orbit. Our sun's black hole is such a control freak that it allows itself to be the first black hole in our solar system to lose its matter back to light. After a few billion years at the helm of its solar system, tugging from all the lesser black holes loosens the atoms of the dominant black hole, turning it into a full-fledged light-emitting sun. This ensures that the dominant black hole will be the first to get naked, eat more light, and become an even larger sun for a next generation solar system. The cloaked black hole inside our sun will be the first in our solar system to lose all of its matter. That sly black hole will become naked again, gain back super fast spin, and gobble light from all the eight planets and 165 moons when they melt. Directly after supernova, the sun will appear to implode back into itself, but this is really the surviving black hole consuming light from all the other melting orbs. Stephen Hawking said light swallowed up by a black hole was trapped forever. Years later, he said that radiation escaped. Trillion Theory says light eaten by a black hole always escapes after billions of years. Our sun examples a black hole losing its contents in order to be the first to get naked, eat light again, and get the upper hand in building the largest orb for a new solar system. Six billion years ago, a past generation solar system died in our area of space. Its supernova sun melted all the planets and moons, surviving the blast with the black holes that had occupied the orbs. Each naked black hole battled for light to build its new sphere in what would become our present solar system. When the sun of the previous solar system exploded to go supernova, its interior black hole survived and quickly gobbled light from the adjacent melting planets and moons. Trillion theory calls this flash eating of light. Trillion theory suggests to astronomers a black hole does not result from a supernova exploding and then imploding. Trillion theory shows that the resulting black hole was always inside the star from the star's birth. After a supernova, all the surviving naked black holes battle for light to build their next orb. They also use their gravity size to gain the best position in the new solar system. The future sun uses the powerful gravity from its largest black hole to become the central sphere of the new solar system. Mid-sized black holes use their proximity gravity to hold smaller black holes as moons. The largest black hole did flash eating of light, meaning it spun the very loosest of matter. Thus the largest black hole, coaxed by pull from the other orbs, easily loses control of its flash matter unraveling matter back to light. It fulfills its destiny of being a sun of this new solar system. 
In a solar system, the largest black hole centering the sun did flash eating of light, spinning the loosest of atoms, which later easily unravel as light from the new sun. Mid-sized black holes spun semi-loose matter, thus these spheres became large gaseous planets. The smallest black holes, losers of the battle for light, took more time to spin their tight, dense atoms. These smaller planets are hard-surfaced. Someday, the sun of our 6 billion year old solar system will age out at 12 to 15 billion years when it will expand and explode as a supernova, destroying our solar system. Each black hole inside of a sphere will nakedly survive to spin light into an orb to build a new next generation solar system inside of our Milky Way galaxy. Trillion theory says, a trillion years ago cosmos began small. It has grown to 74 quadrillion stars in billions of galaxies. How does trillion theory account for this phenomenal growth? Some type of reproduction or replication would be needed. Trillion theory proposes the point of replication for black holes occurs during a supernova. Trillion theory says a sun's black hole always survives a powerful supernova, yet the powerful backlash splits the black hole into two, replicating it into two binary black holes. When a star goes supernova, the black hole, already inside of the star it built, survives the supernova. The explosion splits or replicates the sun's surviving black hole into two new twin naked black holes. The incredible backlash from the supernova splits the surviving black hole into two twins. Basically, two new solar systems can result from the death of the earlier one. The supernova backlash splits the star surviving black holes into twins. The two could end up as binary black holes so that a new solar system will have two suns. Or the supernova could blast the twins far apart so that each will center its own solar system. Solar systems are in a room in a galaxy for 10 to 15 billion years. When a solar system dies, all the black holes that were inside of the sphere survive and replicate, one into two growing the ancient galaxy ever larger. Trillion theory says that galaxies are huge ancient hotels which host solar systems, recycling them each 15 billion years or so. This recycle is how black holes grow and expand the cosmos. But how did galaxies get so huge, hosting millions of stars and solar systems? And how did galaxies get so plentiful with billions of them across the cosmos? The first galaxy began with only two solar systems. With each supernova, surviving black holes replicated to grow each solar system larger. Eventually, the largest black hole at the center held several solar systems in orbit. After a few generations, the largest black hole held many solar systems in orbit, becoming the first galaxy. When the central sun of the first tiny galaxy went supernova, it provided the largest flash of light in the cosmos, as it destroyed all solar systems in its galaxy. The surviving XXL black hole centering that destroyed galaxy realized it had to adapt if it wanted to keep its next galaxy for hundreds of billions of years. So XXL-sized black holes had to adapt in order to become supermassive, allowing their galaxy to hold millions of stars and their solar systems. Our cosmos now has billions of these gigantic galaxies. Trillion theory rules about black holes. A black hole always wants to eat the most light to become larger in control of other black holes, whereas small black holes are relegated to build a small planet or moon. The very largest black holes are able to grow into supermassive size and control of an entire galaxy. Astronomical odds show that one in a billion black holes ever achieved supermassive status. A massive black hole had to evolve. In order to become supermassive, it had to adapt how it pulled in light. It adapts what it does with the light from the stars it pulls close only eating some light to build itself ever larger, while spewing out light plumes to feed its galaxy. That way it grows supermassive, permanent, and ancient. Astronomers were puzzled. They spotted a black hole that consumed half the light it attracted to its event horizon and spewed the other half. Trilling theory explains, this particular black hole had evolved. Its adaptive internal structure spews half the light. 
It no longer wants to grow into a massive sun and eventually supernova its small galaxy, which it wants to keep intact. By adaptive breathing, the supermassive gains permanency for eons at the hub of its growing galaxy. A supermassive black hole evolves to adjust its internals. This way it can be permanent at the hub of its galaxy. Supermassive widens its spiral helix to avoid being bogged down with heavy external matter and forfeiting its fast spin rate. It still wants to consume light, but is able to jettison much of that light as plumes out of its poles. Also, a clever supermassive black hole can hasten the growth of its galaxy. Its superior gravity pulls suns in, halo look, causing them to go supernova prematurely to hasten the birth of new solar systems. The supermassive black hole of the galaxy may be an ancient 950 billion years old, while its newest generation of stars and solar systems are younger than 15 billion years. Supermassive at Hotel Central controls millions of stars. Every day another star goes supernova, making the black holes of that solar system replicate and recycle, whereby the galaxy grows in star and solar system population. As supermassive evolves over hundreds of billions of years, it deploys clever adaptation to hasten galaxy growth. It pulls halo suns in close, forcing them to go supernova, where the cloaked black holes that are inside solar system spheres survive naked, replicate, and eat light to build a new sphere for a new solar system. This action gains the galaxy larger, more numerous solar systems. The supermassive avoids growing itself into a sun, instead it breathes, expelling light plumes to feed its newly born solar systems. How did the cosmos begin? Trillion theory shows that black holes built our cosmos starting a trillion years ago, way back at the cosmic origin. Could the cosmic origin have been a small start which grew to gigantic? Astrobuffs interject. Where does trillion theory get the energy or matter to grow the cosmos larger? We've been told that there is a limited supply of matter, which was spread out by Big Bang. So how can a cosmos grow? Clever scientific design. Only two things involved. Light is the incredible material that can spin into matter and later recycle back to light. And black holes are the engines that spin light into matter to build a sphere and billions of years later recycle that matter back to light. An endless energy supply. A trillion years ago, at the cosmic start, all that existed was an endless frozen ocean of light. Today, this limited supply of light is still accessed by black holes. Frozen light? Scientists in the lab have stopped the speed of light to zero, basically freezing it. When a black hole entered the frozen light ocean, it deployed terrific spin to dislodge frozen light chunks which jumped to light speed, only to be swallowed up by the black hole as it spun that fresh light into matter. As more black holes entered, they freed more light, expanding the size of the cavern inside the light ocean. Several black holes were held in orbit by the gravity of the largest black hole, thus forming the first ever solar system. At the cosmic origin, all that existed was an ocean of frozen light. The first black hole broke away frozen strands. It quickly devoured any free light, spinning it into matter around itself. The ratio of emptiness dwarfed the small size of the orb built by the black hole. Within the light ocean, vacated empty space surrounded the black hole. Today, there exists a vastness to space. Proportionally, when a black hole spins light in the matter, the orbit builds is only a millionth the size of the vast empty space cavern its actions create. Ratio of the sphere to space. Look out at the night sky. You will see gravity stations where light is tightly packed into a dense orb by the black hole residing inside. The orb holds the trap light's weight and heat. Left out in the cold is the surrounding weightless void called space, millions of times faster than the orb. Black holes are cosmic worker bees. At the far edges of the cosmos, black holes access more ocean light so they can build another sphere. This action further expands the space cavern. It also frees extra light to travel through space for use by new solar systems and galaxies. Trillion theory is a cosmic theory of everything. It explains how black holes spun light into atoms of matter, 
how they spun late to matter to build spheres and erected quadrillions of cosmic orbs, and how the black hole inside of Earth provides actual spin and gravity, and the black hole inside our sun turned it into a fireball, and how black holes formed our solar system and controlled billions of ancient galaxies and created space and time in our cosmos and are directly responsible for the cosmos. When Trillian theory speaks about a theory of everything, it shows applicable cosmic laws. The cosmic laws of Trillian theory deal with light, which is the cosmic building material, and black holes, which are the engines of the cosmos. Trillian theory is cosmic laws for light. Light is the indestructible building material used to make all matter in our cosmos. Light can be spun into matter by the incredible spinning skills of naked black holes. Light carries in its toolbox the electromagnetic spectrum, heat, weight, and mass. Light is the ultimate recycling material. It can be spun into matter by a black hole, and then after billions of years, it can escape from an atom and return to light. To view the pages of Trillian Theory's Cosmic Laws of Light and Black Holes, click the link to the website trillionist.com. Who owns these black holes? Book 4 of my Trillian Theory series investigates who designed and owns the black holes that seemingly built to control our cosmos. We shouldn't blindly accept things. Astronomers can be wrong, saying that a black hole results from a supernova that implodes in creating a black hole. Trillian Theory says no. It says the black hole was always inside of the star. After supernova, the black hole survives to be naked, regaining ultra-fast spin to eat light from the melting of its planets and moons. This action is an illusion of imploding into a black hole. Trillian Theory has five proofs that it predicts will be substantiated in the future. Proof number one for Trillian Theory will be discovered in the aftermath of a supernova that destroys its solar system. Surviving the supernova blast is an area filled with empty naked black holes. Each black hole had been cloaked inside one of the spheres of the old solar system. The naked black holes utilize a regained fast spin to battle for light to spin into matter as they build their new sphere. Proof number one for Trillian Theory, a graveyard with many black holes. After a supernova, each black hole that was inside a solar system orb survives naked and regains fast spin to eat tons of light to build its orb for a next generation solar system. Proof for Trillian Theory will come when astronomers find many black holes after a supernova. The strategic black hole from the old sun uses its size to eat the most light and become the center of the next solar system in its ancient galaxy. Trillian Theory calls on astronomers to discover the community of naked black holes that survive a supernova. The $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope will blast into orbit in 2021. Its large mirror will look for the oldest light in the cosmos, as it will peer deeper into black holes, hopefully to prove Trillian Theory. Inside the pick, see small humans. Proof number two for Trillian Theory. To uncover the true age of a supermassive black hole at hundreds of billions of years old. Proof number three for Trillian Theory. Someday a black hole will be discovered inside of a cosmic sphere. Proof number four for Trillian Theory could occur right in a physics lab. What if we emulate a black hole in a lab? What if light can be coiled into a spin? What if light can be spun to form matter? This would prove the reason that black holes attract and spin light is to forge atoms. Proof. Could physicists in their lab emulate a black hole by spinning light into matter? In my futuristic sci-fi novel, The Trillionist, a young man builds a Quantronix machine to spin light into atoms of valuable, pure elements. Proof number five for Trillian Theory would come from astronomers who photograph a black hole as it splits in two. When a supernova explosion occurs, each surviving black hole of the solar system reacts by splitting into two black holes. Replication by black holes is how the cosmos grows in numbers of spheres, solar systems, and galaxies. Trillian Theory calls on astronomers to joint venture with Trillian Theory to catch a black hole in action as it replicates itself from one into two black holes. This discovery would definitely prove Trillian theory. 
My Trillion Theory video series is based upon Trillion Theory's seven book series. These are the links to my Trillion Theory books and articles. Here are Trillion Theory's social media sites. Your help could be huge. Critical proofs for Trillion Theory require joint venture funding. If you can, partner up with Trillion Theory. If you are an astronomer, an astrophysicist, or a physicist, please partner with Trillion Theory. If you are an investor who likes upside potential, or an angel investor wishing to be part of a legacy, email theory1 at telus.net. For more on Trillion Theory, go to the next video in the Trillion Theory series. And the Trillion Theory, the full version, is now available. To take action, share my Trillion Theory videos and click the subscribe button to receive more of my YouTube videos and visit my website, trillionist.com. And thanks for viewing Trillion Theory.